Hey now family, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I hope you all are well. Your girl is back with a, another video. And in this video, I have a simple but cute, super beginner friendly summer set. It's gonna be like a little watermelon set, you all. I had watermelon nails in mind and this is what I came up with. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The acrylic powders that I will be using for this video or this set is going to be Mia Secrets Cover Pink, which is that nude powder in that crown dish. Then I will be using Nail House's Honey Dew Acrylic. And those are the only two that I'll be using aside from clear acrylic. I'm going to be using Nail House's size 16 Kalinsky brush as well as their Pro Monomer. And I have on their 3XL Tapered Square Tips. I'm also super excited for this video because I am going to be doing like a little um, aurora design, they call it, like the little airbrush effect. I am going to be doing that for the first time on myself. I did do a practice nail on my practice hand. I don't know how many of you all seen that post on my community tab. But yes, I'm going to be showing you all my new airbrush machine and telling you all where I got it from, all the deets and my review on it and everything like that. I'm going in on the pinky nail here with again Nail House's Honeydew Acrylic. I'm going to go in on this nail, the index finger nail, and the thumbnail um, because those are the ones that we're going to be doing the aura design on, the airbrush effect. And anyone interested in shopping Nail House can find the link to their site in the description below and use my code Portia for savings. Speaking of Nail House, while we're on the topic, Nail House actually just dropped some new tips. They dropped some coffin tips in 2XL and 3XL. Also, they dropped their refill tips, but they already had the 2XL ones, but now they have the 3XL ones, which are the ones that I were waiting on. Um, like I was telling you guys before, like I needed their refill 3XL tips so bad. I'm super excited they came out with refill tips in general because you all know that sometimes we use um, certain sizes um, more than others. So yeah, I definitely just uh, nicked that nail but it's okay easy fix anyway yeah sometimes we use um well all the times we use like certain sizes more than the others so we're left with like none of those sizes or very little and find ourselves having to buy um you know another box of tips and then the others just are wasted um so it's really good to have these refill tips i really love that they came out with them they have um them in size four five six and seven tips those are the most popular tips that people run out of first i know i do for sure um and they have each size with 150 pieces of each one totaling 600 nail tips which is really dope so i just want to let you all know that just in case you didn't know and if you never I've ever like shopped with Nail House and this is your first time hearing about it and you've been thinking about it maybe or just never heard of it this is your sign to get you some Nail House because they are super bomb um I fell in love with their acrylics firstly um and they have good essentials as well and I love their monomer and brushes like I love Nail House y'all see me use it every single video like I truly do love and like live for their products like i really really do i wouldn't tell y'all no lie or recommend y'all any brand that i didn't like i really didn't love Sorry, y'all. I feel like I had to say that, though. Like, let you all know that. But without any further rambling, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy the application.
all right you all this is how our application is looking for the green um the remaining nails will be with again me and secrets cover pink loving this green um i don't think that nail house have this available on their site at the moment or even have for a while if i'm not mistaken it may be like um temporarily discontinued but they do have one a color similar to this one it's called mojito it's a little bit darker than this green but it's like pretty much the same um it's their mojito but this green is so pretty like it's really giving honeydew also like i said i am done with those nails just for the moment though those green ones but i will come back and encapsulate them i don't encapsulate any of my nude slash cover powders but i do encapsulate all of my colored acrylic
all right y'all uh, this is how we're looking with our application all the way complete loving it next i'm going to go in y'all already know and shape and file the nails using my 88 grit file anyone who is interested in a full in-depth shaping tutorial can find the link to it in the description below Is there anyone else who's like super excited for summer nails? Like I have so many ideas in mind for summer nails. Like I feel like the ones that I've done so far, I've done like just a couple, a few so far and I'm loving them. Like these ones here and the ones previous, which were the pride nails, the rainbow ones. Um, oh, I also did another set you all didn't see yet that I will be posting after this video. Um, I'm super excited, so just stay tuned. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so that you're notified each and every single time that I post a new video. I will be going live, um, I promised you all by, what did I say, Tuesday? So I will be going live, um, probably doing like a duck nail set because you all want that one so bad so i'll probably don't be doing that um and all of and i'll be you know slowly getting done all of your requests for nails i do have the cancer set i have to do the um cancer zodiac set that i have to do so that will be coming up soon as well um i just have so much in store for you all and i'm just super excited and i'm trying to get it on a roll because you know your girl is trying to catch it back up because i have been gone for a little while I also do want to point out that we are almost at 50k you all so you all know what that means I've been talking about it forever now uh well not forever but a little while now um that we're almost at 50k and that means we're gonna do a giveaway like I've already been getting some stuff together to do the giveaway I'm just super excited and I am super thankful like to all of my new subscribers welcome and my OG ones like I just appreciate all of you like for always showing your girl love showing out showing up showing out you know what i'm saying always tuning into girl premieres videos um all of my silent subscribers as well just everyone i really do appreciate all of you um and i cannot wait for this giveaway like i just cannot wait y'all already know that it's about to be bomb y'all already know how i come for giveaways so yeah just stay tuned
All right, you all, this is how we're looking with the nails completely shaped and filed, super crisp, just like I love it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly buff and clean the nails. I'm gonna move on into these designs. The remaining designs will be with gel, and I think this design is fairly like simple and basic, but yeah, cute and a little beginner friendly for those of you who may wanna follow along. All right, you all. So this is my little airbrush machine that I got from AliExpress. I will put it on the screen as well as I'm linking it in the description below for anyone who's interested in this um, airbrush. For this design, I will be using Nail House's Gel Polish Pepto. This is my favorite. It's my number one favorite gel polish from them. And again, it is their Pepto. Love that pink color. Um, this airbrush comes in, which I didn't know originally until I looked and told the girls, but it comes in gold and emerald green. I would have got gold because I'm a gold girl, love gold, but purple will suffice. Purple is really cute as well. Um, so I've never done airbrush nails or had a airbrush machine. Um, so I went on YouTube, you know, YouTube Academy or YouTube University, um, and I looked up how to do airbrush nails and the first person that i watched was this person here i wanted to shout her out the youtube channel is called glam nail academy um that video was really helpful so and i will link that video in the description below for you all as well but pretty much she said to use whatever gel polish that you want you have to open it up and put it in this little cup here of course um and then you want to add acetone so basically it's whatever um gel color that you want and add acetone and i just use this little orange wood cuticle pusher to mix it around get a good mix um i just kind of filled it up but not too much to where it would spill out or like i could close the lid you know what i'm saying so not all the way to the rim but like you know good enough and um close the top and i think i don't know i'm sure like um every airbrush is different but they're pretty much probably should be the same pretty much for the most part um so as you all can see there that the tip of it right where that cup is that very end of it of course is where um is the spray nozzle that's where it comes out of the little mechanism in the middle that little like mechanism there like a little button it is like um you pull it back and that is how you get the spray to come out um and then the little on the other end of this like little nozzle on the back end is where you can adjust it to you know how much spray comes out and then this here of course is the power button and you all are going to see me test out the color on the napkin you know test out the spray see if it's working and going and as you can see some of the pink you know came out so it is working and it's ready for use now when you're doing um airbrush and you're spraying it onto the nails you want to stay at a distance i'm going to go ahead and put this paper towel here so that i don't get the paint on my skin but and this is also real time speed for y'all so y'all can see. Um, you wanna be back at a distance. You don't wanna go right up on the nail and spray it because it will create like a pool, like um, 
yeah like the gel will pull if that makes sense like the gel will pretty much like the pressure from the spray will pretty much make the gel spread and pull like in the middle um so yeah but now i'm going at like a little sped up pace um but yeah you just want to pull the spray knob back and this one you have to like kind of pull back and press out at the same time for it to come out but you want to do that stay a distance away from the nail and go in circular motions and i'd say stay like four to six inches away like well let me like three to five inches something like that away from the nail so that you don't get a pull and that is how it's looking you all after you do your first little spray you want to go ahead and cure for the girl in the video said 10 seconds but i'd say 10 to 20 um i don't know i feel like I do like 15 just to be safe because like you know um but you don't want to care for too too long because it's not like a full gel application if that makes sense so yeah also the reason you want to stay a little far away from the nail as well not only to avoid pulling but so that you can get you know a little gradient effect um and go in circular motions the wider your circular motions are the bigger and spread out your color will be and the tighter that you keep your circles the smaller that your color or or effect will be if that makes sense also i did do my pinky you nail know, over um because i did go in with a little bit of a second layer of of it of the pink you know or affects the spray um after i did the first one just to like brighten it up a little bit but after i did the second layer and i um didn't cure it i kind of like scratched it so it was messed up so i did do it over as well as that one was like my first try so i did want to do it over a second time because it was like the spread or the effect was a little bit it took up more of a nail than i wanted it to if that makes sense so i did do that one over off camera so it will probably look a little different but yeah that's pretty much the gist of it um i think these colors are really pretty together and um was perfect for like the watermelon look i was going for also i do want to mention because like i told you all that i'll give like my thoughts and review on this airbrush um i do you all know i love a bang for my buck that is pretty much why i shop aliexpress for certain things where i know i could get it like you know a little bit cheaper but it's like pretty much the same quality um or good quality um but at a point i don't know what was going on like the spray wasn't coming out for some reason like i really don't know what was going on you all can see me keep checking it here it was completely fine here but i kept checking it here just to make sure that it wasn't going out if i needed to refill it but at a point it did i think it was like on my thumb um you all will see that it did stop spraying i don't know what happened there i was getting low on the spray so i did decide to refill it but i just don't know what happened i also do know that i feel like i could be wrong but i feel like the first time that i actually unboxed and tried the um airbrush when i did my practice nail that i told you all about i think i left the liquid inside of there um i do know that acetone always evaporate but i don't know if that could have um affected the way it was working then where i didn't want to come out because i didn't do anything else to it um i did give breaks in between like i didn't keep it on you know sometimes with things with motors you want to give them a break like you would your nail drill your e-file or whatever um so i don't know why i was acting weird i really really don't know when it was acting weird it wasn't spraying out i did go ahead and just pour out the rest of the liquid that was in here and kind of took off the little cup part because you can't unscrew that completely from the airbrush machine um and i just make sure all the liquid was out and that there was nothing blocking it or like clogged up um and then after that it worked but i would say i give this airbrush so far like a eight out of ten something like that like it it works okay like it does what it's supposed to do uh i did go ahead and order a second one y'all like a couple like a week ago chanel and girls don't come for me i have not ordered anything like i promise i haven't ordered anything else but <laughs> i did um when i was doing my sh crazy shopping um order a second airbrush and go because i wanted to i don't like to have my backups i know i love my backups but anyway y'all that is how the nails are looking complete. I think they're super cute. And I was going for a super um, simple look for this. So I just went ahead and top coated them. And I left them the way they were. Now I'm going to go in with my nail art. And I was thinking of a striped nail. I thought that would be really, really cute. And it came out exactly how I pictured it or imagined. And the gels that I'll be using for those in order as I showed them first here on the screen are... Madam Glam's Neon Lime Green, Nail House's Lime Wire, Madam Glam's Perfect Black, Nail House's Pepto, 
and Zule's gel polish number 21. I'm gonna go ahead and put those on my palette and the colors that I want for my stripes. I did go ahead and mix the green and the white to get a lighter color like um, the honeydew color on my nails currently. And then I'm gonna just be mixing a couple colors, um, the pinks and the whites and things like that so that I can get my like um, different colors and things like that. Also, for my nail art, I'm going to be using Nail House's liner brushes, as usual, and I'm going to be using their size 8mm and 20mm. I'm not even sure if I used the 8mm, I probably just ended up using only the 20mm. All right, you all, that is how that striped nail is looking. I think it's just the cutest thing. Um, I went ahead and top coated it so, you know, I didn't get anything on it. I really, really hate, like, lint, dust, things like that. Hate it. I hate when stuff sticks to my gel. So I went ahead and top coated that. I sound triggered. But I am, y'all. Is it only me? Like, I feel like it's always something in my gel or something, you know, trying to, like, even now, if you look really closely, you can see something in the gel on that striped nail. But I don't be trying to, you know stress too much about it anyway moving on to the ring fingernail our last little nail because like i said these were pretty much simple and once i was done with them i didn't want to you know add any more like do too much to take away from the designs um i didn't want to do too much and i figured i keep these pretty like simple basic beginner friendly a little bit um but still very very cute now i'm gonna go in with um so I initially was going to go in with that other like mixture of pink and white gel that I did but I wanted to go in with a little darker and I meant to go in um afterward with some I think you all will see me create like a little bit of a more lighter pink so that I can go in and create those like little shadows or whatever like little highlights um so that the watermelon didn't look like one dimensional like all one color if you know what i'm saying like i went in with a little bit white mi mixed in with some pink and then created some um took my nail house ombre brush and created some like little you know like little highlights
so you all see what I mean. I just took that ombre brush, took a little light white pink type of pink and kind of just like blended it out and to make it like you know a little bit more 3d ish looking a little bit like not even really 3d ish but you know what i'm trying to say all right y'all so after having cured that for 60 seconds i'm gonna go in now with that lighter like mint green kind of color um and do my first rim you all know how the Ron of the watermelon looks it's like lighter green than darker green so i'm gonna go ahead and create that and then we're gonna move on to creating like some little seeds also y'all because i've been meaning to say this like in my last video but not really because it's really not that important but i just want to say that on my pinky nail there on my right hand that is just the remnants of you all know i had did a neon yellow set for my vacation nails and on that one i didn't um i was rushing y'all. i was so rushed i did my nails um the morning of i was like leaving to like fly like catch my flight um and i was rushing and clearly i missed some clear acrylic on the base of those nails uh you all know when i talk about like doing actual acrylic nails i always recommend you all put a clear acrylic base before putting any color acrylic just so it don't stain your nails like that one did there that was the only one i clearly forgot about um because i was rushing again but yeah that's all that's on my pinky nail there Okay, y'all, so now I'm just going to go in and take my dotting tool with some of this black gel here, which is, again, Madame Glam's Perfect Black, and I'm going to create, like, some little seeds. I was going to put more than this, but, y'all, I didn't want to do too much, so pretty much you just draw a little dot and kind of drag it out, like, to a point to make it, like, a little seed, if that makes sense, and then I did that on both of the little watermelon pieces, and then I took um some white gel polish and kind of, like, made like little highlights you know to make it look a little bit more realistic All right, y'all. So I wanted my watermelon to look a little juicy, you know what I'm saying? Make it look like it was dripping or whatever. So I went in with my um, McCart's rhinestone glue. And um, this is my first time trying this here. I went in with that rhinestone glue and then I added a dot of pink, just a little dot, mixed it in. And I kind of just played with the mixing in more of the clear and more of the pink or not even really more of the pink. You know, I don't want to put too much pink because I wanted it still to be like a little um, translucent look a little bit. But it didn't have to be perfect so i mixed those two together um i top coated the nails before i did this because that's gonna go you know you don't have to top coat that rhinestone glue so um top coated the nail and then i went in with my dotting tool and kind of created like little drips as well as like made the watermelon itself look like a little juicy with some little drips as well also random but not so random fun fact watermelon is actually my favorite fruit aside from pineapple i pretty much been eating watermelon like every day when it came back in season or whatever um and you know that's why i had the idea like let me make some watermelon nails that would be really really cute i love watermelon y'all so much like it's my favorite i can't decide if watermelon or pineapple is my first favorite fruit it probably would definitely be watermelon i'm not gonna hold y'all and a lot of people don't like watermelon which is really really weird to me but people have like different taste buds like if y'all want if y'all like watermelon comment in the comment section below if you like it or if you don't because we got some people who don't like it which is like i said again really weird to me but like i said everyone's different everyone's different but i love me some watermelon
ready y'all this is how we are looking these are our finished results these are really really cute like i said i want to keep it like you know basic you know not do too much because at this point what else would you add like i wouldn't want to you know mess up this design i think it's really really cute something different and you know summery and fun like i love it and i think it's something that could be easy to follow along you know like for beginners so yeah you are also i do want to um try out some more airbrush nails like i want to see you know play around with that but anyway you all i'm gonna go ahead and insert my final footage results now these came out so cute y'all like they're like super summery and fun i love them but that is all i have for this video if you enjoyed this video give a girl a thumbs up leave your thoughts in the comment section below comment some watermelon emojis as well as maybe your favorite nail if any of you decide to recreate this set, go ahead and tag a girl on Instagram at Portia Nailed It and I will show some love and repost your work. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so that you're notified each and every single time that I post a new video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.